So I wanted to talk about a book called Dead Moor. This is because it's October and Halloween month and you might be looking for something a bit creepy or scary to read. Uh, this is from Dark Horse Comics and it's by Adam Cesare, uh, David Stoller and Justin Birch. Um, this was one that I just came across digitally and thought, oh, I'll give it a go, it looks, it looks fun. It's about a group of teens who go into an abandoned shopping mall, party, and in keeping with... 80s horror films and that kind of theme they find out that the mall is not all that they expected it to be essentially the mall is alive with a omnipotent creature entity of some sort never fully explained what what it is but it traps them in the mall and begins trying to hunt them down and you get essentially two narrators or narratives in this story you get the standard comic book story of the teens trying to escape the uh, the entity and you also get the overlying narration of the entity itself and what this does is it plays with the idea of those sort of standard 70s and 80s horror movies where a bit like um night of the demons where uh, there are monsters and creatures in the mall they're trying to get them they try to separate them and show them fantasies or temptations uh, that then will allow the entity in the mall to take them over and change them if you've seen night of the demons you'll know what i'm talking about but there's loads of other films along a similar line and it's great fun if you want that sort of nostalgic story it's fun it's straightforward there are some creative um, creatures in it Uh, the narrative from the shopping mall is quite meta and knowing but without being too nod nod wink wink um, with it the creature designs are great as well. Now, to be honest, I think this would work well as a modern horror film. Anyway, if someone wanted to knock out a mid-budget horror film that they had some practical monster effects in, I think this would be something to option and um, and use. Because the, the creatures, as you can see there, they're a bit Cenobite-like. Um, if you've seen uh, Hellraiser 3, where they sort of go Cenobite mad and show you how they, <laughs> they're created, um, this this ties in with that kind of um, creature design and ethos really well it was just a pleasant surprise something i wasn't expecting to enjoy so much i think it came out at a funny time i think it was published in like july this year but obviously fits in much better with the october theme and it probably would have done a bit better if it was um pushed as being uh, an october trade release uh, because i had no idea about this coming out in single issues beforehand but hey sometimes that's the best kind of reads you get look hopefully i've made you aware of something you you weren't before and if you get any enjoyment from this please let me know give us a thumbs up if the video is any use to you and thanks for watching